When our founding fathers first wrote the Constitution, they split our government into three parts. They did this to make sure that one branch wouldn't have too much power. Remember, the framers of our Constitution were trying to escape monarchy. So they wanted the power to stay with the people. This system, which keeps the power equal between the three branches of government, is called checks and balances. The three branches of government are the executive, the judicial, and the legislative. The legislative branch is in charge of coming up with new laws and is commonly known as Congress. It is divided into two parts, the House of Representatives, which writes the laws, and the Senate, which approves them. This is where the executive branch comes into play. When a law is created, it is sent to the president, the head of the executive branch. Once he signs it, it becomes a law. The executive branch is in charge of enforcing all these laws. However, Sometimes laws go against the Constitution. This is where the judicial branch comes in. Among many other duties, the judicial branch ensures that laws which are passed are in line with the American Constitution. It is often up to the Supreme Court, which is part of the judicial branch, and the highest court in the land, to decide whether a law is constitutional or not. Remember, each branch has its own set of responsibilities and can restrict other branches from exerting too much influence. For example, the executive branch can veto laws written by the legislative branch. Or the judicial branch can deem a law approved by the executive branch as unconstitutional. This is just a limited scope of what the three branches do. So we've learned that each branch has its own set of responsibilities, but none of them can do their job without the other two branches. It's the government's job to keep us safe and free. Thanks to how its three branches of government divide power, our democracy is maintained, and Americans are able to keep their natural power and freedom safe.